Hi everyone, my name is Paul and what I'm going to do today is review some flashlights. I've been a uh, police officer for 16 years now and when I started out, I started out with this baby right here, the uh, trusty old mag light. If you've been around for a while, you probably, if you're a police officer or fireman, EMS, uh, you've probably seen these. Uh, this is pretty much was the uh, standard bearer out there of flashlights for a long, long time. <clears throat> and um, this is what I started with, you know, years ago. Uh, and still, you know, it's a great flashlight. It uses a halogen bulb. Um, also makes a nice impact weapon, which is another reason why we always liked carrying these. Um, I still carry mine today. Uh, I keep it in my duty bag and, and in my patrol car. wasn't long after uh, that my that I had my first uh, mag light that um, the Streamlight came out with a Stinger which was a much smaller light uh, just as intense though had a had really good intensity also had the halogen bulb and was rechargeable um, a lot smaller so you know definitely you could still use it as an impact if you had to um, but uh, we also started going towards uh, different impact weapons at the time. When I first started, we used to carry a PR-24. Uh, now we carry expandable batons. So we, we, you know, the need to have the flashlight as an impact weapon wasn't as important because um, you know, a lot of us carry these uh, collapsible batons now uh, that we go to if we need an impact weapon. So this uh, went on my duty belt, and I still carried both. I kept the, the big mag light in my car and the uh, Stinger light on the belt. Uh, about a year ago, um, they came out with high-intensity LEDs. And I got this, my first one was this Stryon light. Now, this thing is amazing. I mean, you want to talk about bright. It will literally blow you right away. I mean, for 100 yards away, and this thing is just, boom, it's like a spotlight. I think it's brighter than the spotlight on my car. Uh, it also has this really cool feature. If you hold it, it'll dim down um, to different settings so you don't have to have it at the brightest intensity all the time. And if you hit it twice, you get this really cool strobe, uh, which can be really great if, you, you know, if you're on a really dark road or you want someone to know that you're out there, you can put this thing out there um, and you know, kind of give uh, drivers or people on the roadway a clue that you're there so that they don't hit you or uh, you can use it as that, like that. Um, the other great improvement on this is they put these um, baffles around it and these flat edges, which one of the problems I always hated about the Stinger light was sometimes I would go to put it somewhere or put it on the hood of the car, and the first thing it would do was start rolling down the hood, um, which was always really annoying to me. And one of the first things I noticed with this light was great was that I could turn it on, I could put it on a, a surface, and it wasn't going to roll anywhere on me. It stayed right in place where when I used my uh, Stinger light, if I you know, put it on something and it was angled a little bit, you know, it rolled right off the table or right off the, the uh, hood of a car or something like that. So th what I'm really here to talk about today, though, is this right here, which is a brand new light by 511. It is uh, the PC 3.300 light. And it is really, really cool. Um, basically, it's not a whole lot different from other flashlights in uh, a lot of ways. I mean, that, that you're going to see out there. It's LED. It's got three high-intensity LEDs. So you can see, I mean, it's bright. It just blew the camera screen out right there um, when I shot it. Um, if you click it once, it'll stay on, continuous. Uh, and like my little Zion there, if you click it twice, it's going to give you the strobe light. Um, the first thing you'll notice, though, when you pick this is up, the, the, when you pick this flashlight up, is it's really, really light. So probably not going to make the best impact weapon, but it's uh, it's probably ABS plastic. I'm not sure uh, what type of plastic it is, but it's very, very strong. Um, but the really cool thing about this light that the others don't have which makes this a, a really cool innovation in flashlight technology is its ability to recharge. This light fully charges itself in 90 seconds and they claim it will run for an hour. So I'm going to put it to a test. Um, just so the video is not super boring, I'm going to do it on time lapse so that the test will go by real quickly and you can see how well it works out. 
but there's nothing worse than being out on a call and if you're anything like my department we work 12-hour shifts um, you know if you're stream light say you're at an accident scene you're using your your light a lot or searching for something and your dies on you unless you have your car charger with you um, and even if you do it could take it you know an hour or two for this thing to get fully back uh, back up to a full charge um, 90 seconds that's what they say so we'll test it out we'll see what it does and uh, and run it through its paces but so far what I've seen I've been really impressed with it I've used it a little bit but we're gonna put it to the extreme test and run it for a full hour and do the recharge test on it and see how quick it goes and see if we can give it our stamp of approval As you can see, we're still running here. Uh, surprisingly, at an hour and 22 minutes in, uh, the box says uh, that it's good for an hour, and we're already 22 minutes over that. Uh, so we're actually going to stop here. And uh, let's see. And there's a, a little drop off in the high intensity, um, which is when you press it and hold it. But I mean, an hour and 23 minutes now and we're still uh, running so the the next test we're going to do here real quick is uh, it's supposed to recharge in 90 seconds so let's stop this here and we'll reset it this little light up here will flash blue and when it uh, it turns solid uh, it should be fully recharged And as you can see, it's flashing quicker and quicker the closer it gets to a full charge. We're at uh, 25 seconds now. The box claims it takes approximately 90 seconds for a full recharge. We are at 50 seconds. And uh, keep in mind, we did also go uh, 20 minutes over uh, what they claim is the full time. Now we're at uh, one minute. And you can see it's uh, almost a steady blinking blue light. Still flickering real fast. And we are at one minute and 15 seconds and it says it's fully charged. Um, we'll give it to a minute and 30 which would be 90 seconds by their standards. Okay, we're there, and wow, as you can see, back to uh, full intensity there in 90 seconds. So uh, that's the uh, 511 light, guys. It's pretty, uh, got to say, that's pretty impressive, 90 second full recharge, and as you can see, I was able to run that light for an hour and uh, 20 minutes. Um, and we'll take a look here at the time lapse. I noticed a slight uh, decrease at about 45 minutes, but up to about the first 45 minutes, this light was uh, full intensity. And uh, I'm still kind of curious to see what happens if it eventually, I guess, just goes dim and shuts off. I wasn't sure with the capacitor if it would just stop and just go out completely. Um, but uh, very impressive for uh, a light with no batteries. So if you'd like to pick up this item, it's the 511PC3.300 light, and you can uh, get it at www.50gear.com. Uh, that will take you directly to the 511 uh, page where you can pick up this flashlight as well as its uh, bigger brother. Uh, once again, that's www.50gear.com, and I hope everyone uh, enjoyed this video. Have a great day, everyone. One last quick note, I just noticed that the uh, website is offering a free shipping on orders of over $75, of which uh, this light is, so you'll uh, get free shipping.